What an axe you got here! It's all right. Thanks for making it sound good. Oh, bless your twisted and maniacal heart! <laughs> I'm here with Kyle Shutt, the man, the sword! Howdy, howdy. And he's got an awesome new signature model with our friends at Reverend Guitars. And we did an overview video. You can certainly tune into that where we talk a little bit more about uh, Kyle's musical activities and an overview of the guitar in general. But we are also doing specific serial number videos. Uh, so that you can buy this exact guitar, and this one is 26004, weighing it at 7.42 pounds, and this is the Metallic Alpine Burst. Let's talk about this color. That's She's pretty. pretty. She's really pretty. It was actually, uh, it was Reverend's idea to do it, and uh, I really liked it because it was a combination of sort of two of the guitars that I had, a Silver Burst and a Pelham Blue that was aged to green, so this was kind of like... Uh, a combination An amalgam. of those two. Yes, yes. I can dig it. And I like the larger bodied instrument for... For us larger well, body men, yeah. yes, it'll make you look normal in pictures. Exactly, instead of like a giant. Indeed. Into that, then I don't know. Well, it's you know, it works sometimes to have the ukulele-like looking guitar, <laughs> but sometimes you want to look proportional or proportionate, whatever yes. that word is. So the controls, what we have laid out, we've got volume, volume, tone, and then there's the bass contour thing. It's right? a master tone. They're both pickups are going through that. And yeah. Then, uh, we also got the bass roll off. Yes, and this pickup is slightly different as well because we've got the, this one looks, well, let's put it this way. It's, this a, it's a double coiled version of a, a P90, so the, even though it is, does only have the one coil um, per side appearance, there. yeah, per side, uh, it is wound to where the, you won't have that hideous hum like you get with most P90s if let's you just, put them in the neck. Let's just hear that a little bit. It's a cool tone. Now that was, that's with the bass contour off. Let's roll it on a little bit so you can. Ooh, there comes the heat. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Here's the mid position. <laughs> and then, of course, bridge. So, pretty good balance between those two. I like it. it. Sounds awesome. And it plays great as well. You got the locking tuners on there, which of course all the Reverends do. It's just an awesome act. The first Reverend with four knobs, actually. I talked Joe Naylor into approving that because I do kind of a stutter thing in a few of our songs that I wanted to be able to just absolutely have a kill switch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as the pickup selector, instead of having a button or a, a pedal or something like that. I, I, I'm kind of old school like that. I just like to yeah. make the guitar. I, I, don't, I don't consider myself like. A shredder per se, like some kind of guitar virtuoso type. You're a riffsman. Self. However, I just I make the guitar do what I hear in my head, and I think that's kind of how I approach guitar playing. And so it involves a lot of beating it up and manhandling it. And this is a guitar that can take it. It can take it. All right, folks. So you heard it here first. This is serial number two six zero zero four. Here, my, my favorite number personally. E exactly. Yeah. We'll say that in every video. But. <laughs> For this one, yes, 26004 is his favorite. 7.42 pounds. That's nice and light, too. I know, yeah. I, I had some bone spurs uh, that I had got in my neck because I played a 14 pound Les Paul for oh. years. And this is literally half the weight. I can't believe that. Can you dig Getting it? Getting old. I can dig it. Oh. Metallic Alpine versus the color here at Wildwood Guitars. Gregory Cog with Kyle Shutt. We're out. Hey.